I am Dr. G. Prasad Rao, a senior psychiatrist from Hyderabad. A very good morning from Manasarovar YouTube channel. I am Dr. G. Prasad Rao, a practicing psychiatrist. <laughs> It is a pleasure trying to meet you, interact with you and share my feelings. And today I thought I would share with you the pertinent pandemic topic which is being covered over the last three months, two and a half months is about the unnatural death of Shushan Singh. Day in and day out, two months down the lane, you see on the TV a lot of programs discussing various issues. I thought I would cover the mental health issues of cine heroes committing suicide, what are the various factors, what happens in the lives of cine heroes, especially related to the mental health issues of depression and suicide. We have heard that Shushan Singh has been a successful upcoming young hero having a large following by the everyone. It, the lives of a cine hero is always looked with a colored glass by every one of us. We see in a cine hero what the fantasies which we couldn't achieve, the wishes which we would like to get fulfilled, the dreams, the varieties of you can say wishes which we want to be fulfilled on the white screen or you can say on the TV screen, the same movie actor in varieties of programs which includes TV programs, TV interviews and film based programs which we see them. Each role has a unique hero, heroism which he depicts. Sometimes he's a violent hero, sometimes he's a judging hero. Sometimes he's a loving hero, sometimes he's a suffering hero. In each of these emotions, we tend to identify partly with some of the characters and try to empathize, live with them and probably feel with them. And as I said, as we watch, we do understand uh, some of our wishes are sublimed under the movies, stories, and we try to identify and then say our wish is partly fulfilled. For example, if a hero hits 10 villains, we identify with the villainess as a character and the negative character which we don't like. For example, fighting against corruption, fighting against harm, fighting against sexual abuse. How to fight? We individually don't do it outside. But once our hero hits them, we feel as if we have become hero and we are hitting the and punishing the villain as they deserve. But the heroes is a greatest gamble occupation. I'm using this word greatest gamble because you know the failure rate for every successful hero. There are hundreds or probably a thousand people who have attempted and failed to become or reach that goal. So as he grows, he has to develop Surely he has a talent to act. Surely he has a talent to show his emotions properly. But there is also a problem that he has to live in a world, be it a Bollywood, be it a Tollywood, be it a Tamilwood, be it a Malayalamwood, be it a Karnataka cinema, be it Bengali cinema. There is always a constitute competition, which is a continuous process. He has to fight, go up the ladder each time fighting for his place within that media, but also trying to show his unique talent and become a person to be loved by one and all. There is a lot of luck factors sometimes because he need to get a good break to start with, then a good story to depict and a good director to mold his character. And this along with hundreds of you can say technicians involved in movie making, 
and other factors are today determining the success of a hero. As he grows up, he becomes lonely. Any hero, he has to exchange his emotions outside his cinema. He has to exchange his feelings with a person close to him. He has to feel with somebody. I think as he grows up, he loses touch with the other world because one, time. Second, what is expected out of a hero? Usually, general public thinks that hero doesn't have a problem or hero is what exactly is acting in a movie. But in a real sense, he is as human as you and me. Apart from loneliness, his own relation with his peer is an important factor. Many times in a public phase, each actor say that we are very close to all these people. But in a true sense, they can't be too close to them because emotionally they can't exchange their personal secrets with their own peer because something might come out, the fear that in the media something will come out and it will be against him. With this, fighting himself, each individual is also vulnerable because after all they are as human as you and me. So depression can occur to them apart from the, all the reasons which we have discussed. Their own loneliness and remember they are in prime age and marriage and relationship and today's modern world we talk now much more about living relationship and the impact of the living relationship and in a living relationship more often than not they choose among their own co-actress or actors to have a relationship Sometimes, of course, depends on others as well. Now, in this living relationship, it ha there is a lot more impact. Apart from the working hours being very tough, very, very irregular, and as a hero growing up, he needs to work much more projects so that his own identity is soon or later fixed. And then he builds his own followership. And there are other market issues, including marketing himself. So in Shushan's case, the issues apart from competitions and growing up, they seems to be got emotionally involved in a recent times apart from a, another person committing suicide and the impact of it. So in every hero who attempts suicide, there is always a last straw and sometimes this straw comes from multiple factors, socioeconomic sometimes, emotional pressure sometimes, blackmailing sometimes and the severe competition on which he runs to become a hero. I personally think that everyone, every successful actor does have his own coping method and he uses that coping method to use somebody are totally individualistic but majority need some relationship, some friends, some relative, somebody whom they can talk to so sharing of your emotions is needed in the first place. The second thing which I would suggest that psychologically maybe each one needs their personal psychologist. Of course, the psychologist and psychiatrist are expected to keep the confidentiality, especially when an actor tells a lot of stories. Well, they do it during the day to day time. Each psychiatrist keeps the information to himself. So they are supposed to keep. The third thing they need to do is taking proper break, especially whenever there is an emotional breakdown. Now, at this point of time, when they talk to somebody who are very close and feel with them, especially if there is a good mentor, good friend, good relative who take care of the pressure, fine. Otherwise, better seek a professional help confidentially. In today's world, we can have it, everything on a tele consultation as well. Having said this, we, I think the danger signals are always feeling lonely, feeling hopeless, feeling sad, feeling less energy, feeling moody and mood swings, sometimes getting irritable and not properly sleeping. So if these are there, definitely need a psychiatric help. I personally believe that suicide is preventable, suicide is treatable. So by suicide, we are losing a human being. There are may, very many cases of suicides in the actors and actresses across all the 
Bollywood, Tollywoods and all the woods. But remember, there might be multiple causes. I for one, as a mental health professional, would love to see that more suicides are prevented, if not totally removed from this world. But mental health issues in an actor has definitely a different dimension because of the different world they live. And you know, the competition is so high, the survival rate is so less, and most important, trying to maintain their position is the ongoing pressure. I do hope, like Deepika Padukone, who has definitely propagated through her foundation, Live, Love and Laugh Foundation, which talks about ways and means to reduce depression. I think that should be part of everyone, especially the successful or not so successful actors. Each cinema failing causes to depression and each successful movie might bring them moods up. But at the same time, equanimity and tranquility is utmost important in them so that they can continue their profession for a long time. Having said this, let us hope that in each individual, especially in the actors and actresses, and not only actors and actresses, supporting actors, actresses, and a very many cinema-related technicians, they all go through this so varieties of pressures and pulls and pushes. They need to survive this. And what our young hero's death has brought out is the myriad of the complexity in the business, but also the individual factors. We as a society and as a professional body, we would like that the mental health issue should be attended properly. And we do hope that each successful or young actor or actress would seek the help as soon as they need it without much stigma because today's world and their world is full of pressures. I would meet you in Manasarovar T YouTube channel very soon on some more interesting topics. Namaste. Mm -hmm.